hi friends and welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel my name is Noki and on this channel I talk about home-based business strategies I also sell on platforms like uh, eBay and Poshmark on today's video I'm going to uh, address one of the most common questions that I've been getting from new resellers or or potential resellers people are looking into uh, starting their online business uh, reselling on eBay and Poshmark or one of the uh, or on one of the platforms so in this video I'm going to give you a general a very general uh, overview of eBay versus Poshmark and at the end of the video I'm going to give you my opinion on whether you should uh, start on uh, eBay or Poshmark or do both so you want to stick around until the end of the video and I'll try to make it uh, very straightforward uh, not too confusing future videos are going to cover each platform in detail so you want to make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any of the informative uh, content that I'll bring to you so eBay has been around for a long time since 1995 and, and eBay is in 100 countries uh, so that is to say eBay is worldwide generally the Poshmark app was launched by Manish uh, in, um, in 2011 so that is to say uh, Poshmark is turning 8 this year mm -hmm. Poshmark is a baby but it's growing very fast because in 2017 they reported 87 million dollars in revenue that is uh, pretty good for a baby app uh, that was initially designed for people who are just for individuals for individuals who are just selling clothing out of their closet so what can you sell on either platform on eBay you have a lot of categories to choose from on when it comes to items that you can sell from clothing electronics home home and garden goods um, you name it you can sell it on eBay pretty much vintage clothes vintage items Whereas on Poshmark, you can sell clothing and they just recently introduced home goods. So now you can sell clothing and also sell handbags, you can, purses, you can also sell makeup. Um, however, on both platforms, you cannot sell fake or spin-off items. Uh, on, on Poshmark, if an item is worth over $500, then you have to... Uh, get an authentication certificate uh, on eBay everything has to be authenticated both platforms have rules uh, eBay seems to have more stricter rules uh, than Poshmark um, both both platforms have a rating system where customers can rate you uh, on eBay uh, customers do that that via giving you feedback they can either either give you a positive feedback or they can give you a neutral feedback or they can give you uh, a negative feedback on Poshmark uh, on po whereas on Poshmark uh, customers can give you five five stars going down to one that's their rating system uh, when it comes to um, listing listing on ebay is a bit more detailed and you kind of have to have a strategy you have to know how to do it uh for you to be able to for your items to be more visible to potential buyers uh and pretty much same with uh poshmark but uh, the poshmark app is way way easier to to list it's much quicker to list uh it takes about excluding uploading photos it, it takes about two minutes uh to list on poshmark and you'll be done both platforms need items item descriptions in detail on both platforms you have to state if a plat if a if an item is defective or has an issue you have to make sure you mention it on both platforms <sighs> on um, pricing your items 
uh, on both items you have the freedom of pricing the items the way you want though the tendency is um, well typically resellers tend to uh, price their items higher on Poshmark because Poshmark has a different uh, different type of clientele uh, the customers on Poshmark are willing to pay more because uh, they they are expecting more designer items they are expecting more uh, quality items uh, on eBay on eBay though you have all kinds of customers from the ones who come in looking for designer items and the ones which just come in looking for everyday items and a typical on eBay, customers are looking for a deal, a great deal. And with your price, when it comes to pricing, on on eBay, or on eBay, you can either do uh, the you can either do the buy it now uh, pricing system where uh, your where the customers can just pay the price up front uh, with the buy it now option. You can also set it up to uh, where they can. Uh, submit a best offer offer what they want to pay and you have the freedom of either um, counter counter offering or you can accept the offer or you can um, decline the offer and that goes the same with Poshmark Posh, on Poshmark the customers can submit an offer to you you can counter the offer you can decline the offer or you can accept the offer uh, the neat thing, this is one big difference between uh, eBay and Poshmark. On Poshmark, when customers submit an offer and you accept the offer, the moment you accept an offer on Poshmark, the customer is billed right away. Whereas on eBay, when a customer when a customer uh, puts in a best offer and you accept the offer, you have to wait for the customer to pay. Uh, they can take a day or two, or sometimes they pay immediately, but it depends. Uh, at times, they, they might not even pay. So, However, eBay, if a customer does not pay uh, within 48 hours, then you can, open a, you can open a case against them. It's called a... You can open an unpaid item case and you can also set up your account so that uh, eBay can do that automatically but the neat thing about Poshmark is the moment uh, you accept that offer that is a, a sale right away um, or oh, and on, on uh, on eBay, you, there is also a, a neat feature that I like where you can automatically accept or automatically decline uh, offers. Uh, the other thing that eBay offers is uh, you can uh, do the auction style when you're selling your items. Most uh, resellers use this uh, for items that maybe have been sitting too long uh, on, in their stores, in their account, and they want to get rid of them, or items that uh, or items that they are having uh, a hard time pricing if the item if they are not sure of the price and um, and they cannot uh, determine the price from the comparables then they use the auction style of the auction uh, style of selling and um, on both uh, on both platforms you can if you are not sure of uh, how to price your item you can go into the search and search for items and filter according to items that were that were sold or items that are listed uh, which are similar to the item that you are uh, trying to list and that way it can help you determine what the price of that item is and both platforms need a lot of TLC. If you are not present in both platforms for whatever length of time, then your sales will drive to a screeching halt. They both like to be loved. You have to, con on both platforms, you have to consistently, you have to, um, you have to be listing on a consistent basis. You have to be adding new items pretty much on a daily basis. You have to be revising your, your listings. You have to be editing and doing things. Just your presence in the, on the platform uh, will drive um, the algorithms in your favor. Um, 
Poshmark is more of a social app where you have to follow people and they have to follow you back. So the more the more followers you have, the better for you. The more items you have in your closet, for the better for you. Um, yes, on on Poshmark we call them. They are called closets. Uh, on eBay, if you have a store, it's called a store. But if you are just an individual seller, then you just have your items for sale. Yes. So. And then uh, the other thing that is um, different is eBay has a different number of fees. eBay has insertion fees, final value fees, and if you have a store, they, you'll have a, a, subs a store subscription which is billed to you once a month together with the final value fees and the insertion fees. The insertion fees, however, depend on the level of your store. If you have, uh, like I have a premium store, I get 1,000 free insertions uh, every month. If I go over 1,000, then they start uh, charging me insertion fees per item that I list. Right now, I have just under 800 items, so I don't have to pay insertion fees. I just have to pay the final value fee, which is around... 10% plus my store subscription and if I promote my items which I do uh, then the promoted items percentage that I have uh, that I out have opted for the very neat thing about Poshmark is they have just one fee one flat free of 20% yes it may seem like it's a lot but when you add on uh, when you add what all the other fees that eBay charges, I think Poshmark is uh, much better because for twenty percent, you are covered. <laughs> you don't have a, to have you don't have to have a store. Uh, you don't have final value fees. There are no listing fees. All they t do is once an item sells, they just take their twenty percent and that's it. The twenty percent is deducted from the value of your item excluding shipping the buyer pays for the shipping on ebay you can choose whether you want to give them free shipping whether or whether you want them to pay for shipping but your, the percentage of your fees um, is charged including shipping if that makes sense so they take the value of the item plus the f shipping and then they calculate the percentage of whatever final value fees uh, they are going to bill you so, and then when it comes to uh, payments, eBay as of now is still with PayPal. eBay is still with PayPal. So when, when a buyer pays, uh, the money goes into your PayPal account. And if you are, if, if you are very new, they put you into what we call a PayPal jail where you cannot get access to your money for about 21 days. I don't remember having to wait for 21 days. It was just under 21 days. Uh, and then uh, once the customer receives their item and it's the item and it is the item that, uh, that you claim that and if it is the item that you described on your listing, then uh, eventually they release your money. They do that for about three months, and then uh, you are good. And once you are off, pay and once you are off the PayPal jail, then you get to get, and then you get your money instantly the moment the buyer pays. Your money is available to you. However, with Poshmark, when a buyer pays or when the buyer is billed, you, after you ship the item, the buyer has to accept the has to accept the order and go into the app and uh, uh, acknowledge receipt of the um, item. And if the customer does not do that, uh, Poshmark will wait for seventy two hours, so your money will be released to you after 72 hours and the way you get your money it's either via direct deposit uh into your account you'll have put in your bank account checking account details uh or you can request them you or you can request a check in the mail yes um what else eBay will also allow customers to return items for any reason, whether you accept returns or not. However, as of now, I think everyone is now forced to accept returns. And you can choose whether to pay for the returns or uh, you can 
set it up that in such a way that the customer pays for the return on Poshmark the customer has 72 hours uh, to to raise any concerns after that there is no returns and I love that option that's the best part about Poshmark <laughs> Okay, and I think that's uh, oh, and when it comes to shipping your items, uh, Poshmark is a very high standard of shipping your items. I uh, thank goodness the standard that Poshmark uh, requires that's the standard that I started off with on, on eBay. And so, for me, whether it's Poshmark or eBay. I have the same standard of uh, wrapping my items and sending them to customers. What standard is that? Uh, Poshmark expects you to tissue wrap and really make the uh, items look nice and package them in a very professional way. And uh, it, they expect you to include a thank you card, a thank you note or something. And that's the standard I do for, uh, not only for Poshmark, but I also do that for my uh, eBay customers right from the beginning that's what I just did and I've maintained that standard okay now oh the other thing um and this this was a concern from one of my uh, uh viewers here on this channel uh the the issue about um the design about the type of items that you can sell on Poshmark. Yes, on Poshmark, people are expecting certain designers, certain brands. Yeah, brands. I want to say brand names. Uh, but don't let that intimidate you. If an item is cute and nice, I've sold items that are not designer on Poshmark. And um, the good thing is uh, there's so much information there there's so much information out there and some of which i'll be covering on this channel about the best uh brands to sell on poshmark what brands are you, what brands do you wanna do you wanna be on the lookout for when you are out uh, sourcing your inventory i'm gonna definitely make another video covering that in detail um on ebay however yes you can sell designer stuff, uh, brand, designer brands and all that, but any brand sells on eBay. Um, yeah. Oh, on Poshmark, there's another neat feature where you can, um, where you can uh, allow or set your, set your, Set your account in such a way that uh, custom potential buyers can uh, bundle items. They can bundle two or three, it two or more items, and then you can give them some kind of discount, some discount uh, percentage discount uh, on both the value of the items and the shipping. And then on eBay, you can also do that. You can they can bundle. You can set up your account in a way that uh, they can bundle. You can give a, a, a volume discount. It's called a volume discount. Yeah. Very big difference between Poshmark and eBay is that on eBay you have to set your shipping rates. You have to handle the shipping. You have to calculate the shipping yourself. Uh, of course, they do give you guidelines, but uh, you have to set your own shipping rates and, and deal with that on eBay. Whereas on Poshmark, there's just one flat shipping rate. And currently, it's $6.79. So everything that is £5 or less on Poshmark ships for $6.79. Unless if you have given um, the customer a shipping, some kind of shipping discount. Or you can also give them free shipping, which will be billed to you. By the way, there's nothing like free shipping. <laughs> it will be billed to you. Because Poshmark emails you once... Once a sale is confirmed on Poshmark, Poshmark will email you a shipping label, which you'll just print out and, and stick on a priority box. And you are free to use any priority box as long as it's, it doesn't say express mail on it. You can also use your own uh, plain uh, packaging, but 
the most uh the most popular thing uh, is is um using um is using the USPS uh, priority mailboxes any boxes whether it's a large flat rate box whether it's a padded flat rate box, all those they ship with they ship for six dollars and seventy nine cents as of this video uh it used to be six dollars and forty nine cents until until uh january when the rates went up january 2018 sorry january 2019 when the rates went up so Poshmark, one big advantage is the, the, the shipping on Poshmark is way, way cheaper than the shipping, the shipping rates that we get on eBay. Even though we get some kind of um, discount when you ship your, when you print your shipping label on the eBay website, you get some kind of discount, but still it doesn't, it's not as good as the Poshmark um, shipping rate and on ebay you have to weigh the items and make sure that they are a certain um certain weight anything that is 16 ounces or less it goes first class so you have to know that and you have to be very accurate otherwise you or your customer will get in trouble uh if for whatever reason uh the post office either returns it or holds it uh, for the customer to pay additional shipping. So you always want to make sure that you are on point with your shipping when it comes to eBay. On Poshmark, you just have to make sure that whatever you are shipping is five pounds or less. If it goes over five pounds, then Poshmark, you have to inform Poshmark and then they will send you a shipping, a, a label that covers that kind of shipping, whatever shipping weight you are trying to send okay and another thing is um it's very very easy to lose your ebay account if you violate one of the if you violate their rules so things like uh selling spin-offs and if they take the items down and you keep repeating the same uh mistakes or if you do whatever they deem uh whatever eBay deems an offense uh, that requires suspension or being banned from the app, it's very easy. There are people we know that have, uh, that have been banned from, um, from selling on eBay. Yeah, I think that's about it. But you definitely get uh, more value for your money when you're selling on Poshmark. Things say, items tend to sell for more on Poshmark than on than on eBay because they are expecting them to be some kind of um, brand names and some kind of quality. So you find uh, different different types of clientele on Poshmark than on eBay. eBay it's like everybody's there from from those who are looking for bargains to those who are looking for discounted designer handbags yeah so yeah on on poshmark i think i mentioned on poshmark you can sell uh clothing you can sell handbags you can sell makeup you can sell jewelry uh and until recently you can now sell home goods home decor stuff they just added that category yeah i think i covered oh and on on poshmark one thing i like is um since it's a more social platform like you have to follow people and they have to follow you back so the more people you have the more listings you have the better the chances of getting a sale um whereas on ebay you are, we are competing with companies, big companies uh, who are on there, who have employees, uh, even Walmart and them, they are selling on there. So I like that about Poshmark, that it was designed for individuals and you, it's a more social uh, platform. But let me stress that both platforms need a lot of TLC. If you love on them and if you're on there, on they feel your presence, you are listing every day, you are tweaking, revising, editing, then they, you'll get the sales. 
on both platforms you need have to you cannot just list and turn around and forget about them no you have to be present on the app for you to uh, get those sales okay i think i'll stop here for today but definitely i'll be covering um definitely i'll be covering each platform in in depth on future videos um but for today let me end it here uh <laughs> So, so my opinion, should you start on eBay or start on Poshmark or should you do both? I'll say if you have to choose between the two, I'll say start on eBay. Uh, the reason being eBay is kind of a training ground. You'll get a lot of you're going to learn a lot from uh, studying on eBay so that when you move over to Poshmark, Poshmark will be a breeze. However, I recommend that you do both at the same time. It's easier to list on eBay and then cross post onto Poshmark. And if your items, and this is, this is allowed, eBay allows it, Poshmark allows it. So, so far, so far as of today. And um, if, a, if an item sells on either pl platform, then you have to go to one, the other platform where it didn't sell and take it down immediately. Okay. And the good thing is on both platforms, you can, uh, if you are not sure about how to price your item, you can go ahead and type in the name of your item, the brand name, so that you can com check the comps comparables to see how much other people are selling similar items so that you can have an idea on how on how to price yours all right and on both platforms you can mark down your items you can do sales uh let me say that on ebay you can only do that if you have a store you cannot do it you cannot do that with an individual account but if you have a store subscription then you can uh run sales you can do volume discounts you can do promoted listings whereas on uh on poshmark you can mark down your, pri your prices anytime you can give discounted shipping anytime as you wish but remember both platforms need a lot of tlc so let me stop here for today um so so which platform would you like to sell on will you consider selling on both platforms which one do you think is more favorable for you? Comment below and tell me and tell me which platform you prefer. Are you willing to jump in and do both? Anyway, if, if the if the content in this video has been very useful, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And please share this video with your friends or people that you know uh or people that may be interested in starting their online business and remember to subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit that little bell not so that whenever i upload a new video you get notifications until my next video remember to do small things with great love from my heart to yours have a great day bye bye